interested in event videography, you'll like this one. So although myself and Mitch here do the podcast together, we also shoot stuff together. And mm -hmm. although we work individually, we also work on a lot of projects as a duo. And um, what day was it now? Two days ago, Two three days, days ago. ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I acquired a new client, didn't I? Mm -hmm. um, called I Love Claims. I Love Claims. Yes. Can you guess what they do? <laughs> um answers in the comments below but anyway so we were on another job together another yeah, podcast another can you podcast? believe other people have podcasts oh, no how dare they oh. but it's in the accident repair business so quite it's different to us I most think. definitely definitely different content mm -hmm. but anyway one of the hosts guest hosts for that podcast mark hadaway mm -hmm. great guy great guy rolled in never met the guy before liked him straight away he'd mm. actually watched his these podcasts so uh that's not me just trying to not butter him up. <laughs> no really nice yeah. guy anyway so we got chatting didn't we with mm -hmm. him and um he was like oh you know do you guys work together and we're like well yeah but separately uh what sort of stuff do you do you cover and you know i mentioned that uh, i shoot a fair bit of events as well yeah. as yourself right yeah and um he was like oh good timing yeah. just right place right yeah, time right wasn't time it indeed. because his company, and although they'd done lots of photography and social media content for their mm -hmm. events, mm -hmm. they'd not done any video. No, so he's like, let's swap cards. Yeah, let's see when so we goes. swap cards. And um, I think it was some weeks later after that initial initial conversation, we shot the first event. Yeah. So I guess we just wanted to talk about that, really. Just a casual conversation talking about our day, what, you know, leading up to it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And for me... Um, once we'd um gone so so basically to backtrack mark had came to us with an idea of what he wanted you know he wanted uh he wanted obviously videography uh wanted to get a quote from me for some photography as well and also the deliverable so mark was great on that and i know on the last episode which you can catch up here where mm -hmm. we're talking about clients coming to us and knowing what they want yeah. mark was very Pretty very clear on. like i want a so essentially it was like want well, videography of the event mm -hmm. i would like a 30 second teaser delivered within a few days i did it next day <laughs> bosh bosh as well as uh photos 50 to 100 edited photos mm -hmm. of the speakers also delivered next day nice bosh <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and then like about a week or so later, he wanted a two minute version, which we'll use on LinkedIn and social media. Mm -hmm. And then uh, around a six minute version, six to eight, I think he said, uh, on for YouTube. So yeah. very specific, very brilliant. Very you know, good. so like I quoted it. him on two man team. He agreed the price. Very happy because, nice as we said, nice guy, and we always yeah. like nice clients. Yes, right? nice, nice, nice. So um, the 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 daunting thing for me was it was. It was a new client, so always a little bit scary. Yeah, you want to make sure you do the best, don't you? Yeah, especially because he was like, if this goes well, we'll just give you all the events <laughs> next year. We're like, oh. oh. I was like, and that's 12, yeah. 12 events roughly over the year given to myself. But the beauty is mm -hmm. Mitch is on hey, it hey. as well. Mm -hmm. So two-man team. Uh, also, shout out to our mate Rob who came along on the day Loops. and helped us out with lifting and packing away and packing, you know, setting up and stuff. So cheers, mate. Um, but for me, I was, and, and Rob said on the day to you, and he told me, he's like, I've never seen Gav stressed before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've never seen Gav stressed. And I, I think I was just stressed because of going into the unknown of how that event runs. Yeah, yeah. And it was quite clear that these guys run big events. Mm -hmm. You know, there was 400 people there, which maybe doesn't sound a lot, but they had 24 participants as in speakers on the stage. Yeah over what like a six hour period yeah and they also had the exhibition hall where exhibitors would come along and we needed to cover content with that as well mm -hmm, indeed so in my head you're getting there and i'm thinking right where where i have to tell you where to be yeah. but obviously you, you've got that intuition as well right you yeah. kind of know right i need to be here yeah we work very, very well together for that Definitely. but i was bricking it a little bit just because we're coming into it and you know the first thing is we need to mic up the the host don't mm -hmm, we indeed and just for him to do a little bit to camera yeah but he wasn't keen on that was he <laughs> <laughs> we, we know this guy he just he had obviously a lot going on himself didn't he and yeah. he was like inevitably 
that wasn't necessarily going to take priority on his day because he no. was there. His sole, well, his main purpose was to host the event, wasn't it? Whereas we were like, what would be great is to get those little snippets from the main dude, you know, mm. the main guy of the day. But as we felt we needed to do it, he it wasn't would, his importance. It, it wasn't. No. He was like, well, I need to make sure I'm doing this kind of thing. Yeah, and it was so that kind of put me on the back foot a bit because when I shoot an event, I always want the host to do a little welcome to camera and that kind of sets the tone of the tone of the edit. And as yeah. you know, when you're filming, you're kind of building it. You're building you? it in your head. It's like, right, I need okay, I need an establishing shot. I need him coming in here, and you kind of build in the edit in your mind. So when I didn't get that straight away, um, because he was rushed and be, like you say, it's not his priority. It's my our priority. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it kind of put me on the back foot. So, you know, I was a little bit stressed going into the rest of it from then on. I think you dealt with that really well, though, because I was there at the time when you were trying to get it on him, wasn't I? And he um, he was very much... You kind of put your point you put your point across to show that this needs to be done. Mm. But then I think, didn't we have issues with the mic or something? Yeah, or, or just something there was like some that. technical issues and then so he needed he, to go. Yeah. yeah, and then he was like, oh, I need to kind of do this. So obviously there was that clash of like purpose. Mm. Um, and then, But then you were kind of like, but I, I do could really do with doing this. Yeah. But then after, then we were still having issues with the mics and stuff. But then you'd kind of hit where you kind of thought, right, then I'm at a point where we need to... Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think that was the ro- totally the right thing to do because yeah. you obviously... I've had experiences with other people that oh, they're just awkward. They just don't yeah. want to do it. So they'll just be like, no. Yeah. And then as soon as I said no, especially on the early days, I was like, oh, okay then. And then let them off and then gone, oh, really, really wish that. Wish I'd have just, just insisted more, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think you insisted to the right amount and you did it like very professionally. He then went off and did his thing. So he was able to satisfy that his thing, needs. That his yeah. needs and that thing that he was concerned about at that time. And then... You kind of were it able came to back. came back, and then yeah. and, and it worked and well. He, we had sorted the mic out, I think, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and then he was in a better position mentally for yeah. himself. In his, and I then think you he was were probably well. in the same position as me. He was stressed about the day. Yeah, I was exactly, stressed about exactly. the day, and I was like, right, okay, we'll just do it at lunch, and we did exactly. it later. But yeah. yeah, it's it's really important to remember that as important it is these people are obviously still, you know, those clients are paying you to be there, mm. but. That event is their baby, not the video. The video's the not maybe last, but it's not as important to them making sure that they are where they need to be. They got to do their little practice on stage, which was uh, what he needed to do. So we just came back to it, and then the rest of the day, once he got rid of it, like the his priorities on stage, yeah. it was it was a case of, you know, he was more than willing, wasn't he? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, game, and he smashed it. Yeah, he was very good. He was just it? very good on yeah. camera. So, um, yeah. So I think th- just to go back to that, it just. For me, the, this event was a much bigger event than what I'm used to. I'm definitely more 50 to 100 type people event. Yeah. With, I have a very small handful of speakers. And this was, like I say, 24 speakers. Not that I had to mic all them up, but just capture audio from key points. And it it really was, it was a challenge. Well, it's funny you say about the audio, isn't it? And we've discussed, we discussed that with the previous guy. But because there were so many... There was like an audio team there, wasn't it, yeah. at the event, yeah. specific for, mm-hmm. you know, the actual talks. And um, we kind of discussed before going to that, how we're going to kind of capture this stuff. And you mentioned that what would be great is if we can run one of your Sennheiser mics straight into the desk. Yeah, Because yeah. then obviously they've mic'd up everyone up. And um, and then all we need to take is a clean a feed, feed from that from straight that. into that. They're obviously going to be um, monitoring who's speaking and the, trying to get yeah. decent levels. And then, but unfortunately, you weren't able to do that, no. were they? Because there was an issue with the clean line coming out, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, uh, I and do like... that. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, I do smaller events, but events where they still have those sound guys in. Yeah. And I just basically run a Sennheiser lavalier pack from that to a receiver on the camera mm. or whatever camera needs to capture the audio. And that's it. That's all I need to do. And I'm just picking up the audio as and when. And because I couldn't do that, I was like, oh, I need to love. I need to love these guys up. And mm. it was only sort of key for people that I wanted mm. to get sound bites from. So that was a challenge. Mm. And also I think the dynamic of trying to capture the same of photo and video through the day. Yeah. You know, us working together going, right. So literally sitting there going, okay, so this camera's got the long lens, so we could do this with camera, but we also need that for video. How about we just record the first yeah, like yeah. this constant um logistical yeah, yeah. of tech yeah. people. Yeah. 
And the best thing is having those over ear mics. <laughs> we, we Mitch has got these over the ear mic things that we have, and we just literally just can, can you have your camera, and you could just go, uh, okay, main speaker's on in five. Can you yeah. make sure he's mic'd? Yeah. I'm in the other room doing mm. exhibitions or testimonial yeah. stuff. And that that's oh, that, that, so good. good. And, and the little chit chat we have. Yeah, like, little oh, chit chat. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> do you want some cake from uh, hospitality? Uh, yeah, take, Roger. <laughs> get me six cookies, please, yeah. to take home. Yeah. <laughs> no, I took six. Yeah, I took six as well. They're all gone now. <laughs> yeah. In a day, <laughs> Bev put them into a little uh, little plastic Tupperware. Tub yeah, for me and we did too. I might as well have just left <laughs> them out. The they they didn't have time to go stale. <laughs> so I think once we got about halfway in, and then you kind of realise right. You can be doing this Mm -hmm. while I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. We can communicate via the radios to be in positions for this point. We've got the itinerary of the day, which Mm -hmm. is hugely important Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes I do events and don't even give you that until you turn up. I had that ahead of time. And once we got into the swing of things, I definitely relaxed. I think for me, a big part of events is getting like vox pops as people call them yeah. or sound bites or testimonials or whatever you want to uh you name them from people that are attending the event or speakers yeah. or whatever yeah i think because we hadn't got any of that up until lunch yeah oh but... and uh, we got the, the most insane uh, setup haven't we we've yeah. got like their backdrop three-point lighting system boom mic mm-hmm. and then just a camera on a tripod in an area, it was the best setup for testimonials I've ever had. Yeah, it, it was good, and it was it was something that we we took the time to think about yeah. prior to that, mm. because like you said, with the events, you kind of especially it was more so because you, I think you had like he had requested that longer video hadn't yeah. it so you need to make sure there is good decent content to not not fill it out that's well, wrong to term, make you, to, to make that edit to, to yeah. make, exactly you need content right and um, rather than just. Finding someone and just going right and then just say something to camera. We were felt um, that it'd be really good to make sure we have a dedicated place. Mm. So we kind of thought about right then what's going to be the easiest part about it. So we were thinking right then, let's get a dedicated place. We if we've now then got a dedicated place, we can make sure we've got light set up. So rather than just going oh that like light looks okay over there, let's go and take someone over there. Mm. So we had this nice area, didn't yeah. we? We set those three point lights. So we had the ability to do it. Also, um, because we were able to do that, we didn't have to think about lav mics either, did yeah, we? we? That thought, was great. Let's get the best audio. We mm-hmm. can boom it. That means all the person has to do is just stand on the spot where we told them to stand. With the tape. With the tape, a little tea. tea with the, yeah, the tea, tea stand on the tea. Not, t- not tip tape. Tea, not tip tea, tape. No, tea, no, tea that's different. That, that's yeah, yeah. Like a bit of grey um, duct tape, gaffer yeah, tape, whatever it, it is just on the floor. Bang yeah. it on the floor. They're in position. We're all set to go. We had a camera to go. And it was I'll just move. Okay, so like, <laughs> yeah. we had this guy who's like nearly seven foot and then this lady who was about five foot. And I'm like, hold on, just got to just bring this down, bring the lights down. That's the only time. But yeah. generally, it's just like a little, a little movement. Yeah. Um, but yeah that was that was absolutely great and Wasn't you know it? a good thing to do at events as well just a, as a little tip is when you get these testimonials because we're some guy they don't know mm. you're just a video guy with a camera in your hand and going excuse me can you come on camera for a bit and no, they're like they're a bit standoffish however if you get one of the staff yes to do to round them up so i you was off doing uh some shoots in i think the speaker room actually no you were out getting drone shots establishing shots of yeah. um the the building which was silverstone silverstone, Bush. silverstone it was great yeah um so it was you were doing that and then i got a couple of the staff to go and round people up mm-hmm. that they knew because it's coming from someone they know it's easier it, so i had a point where i had someone come in and by the way they were the so best great, tes- they, testimonials said, yeah. I've ever ever had. Like you get a few good ones and then like a few bad ones that are just not comfortable and that's fine. But then it was just like mega, 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 like 14 in mm-hmm. total. Right. That's unusual. Yeah, like my experience of then trying to have, going back, my experience of trying to have, to try and round people up is a bit hard because like you say, I'm just some random person to them. Mm-hmm. But normally if you get staff members um, of the event that are part of the business, Generally, they might have had some form of relationship or communication with people throughout the business, yeah. so, um, or which they would then recognise the person. Go, oh, I've had a great conversation with him or her previous, or they've had that little initial conversation, or at least greeting as they've walked through the door or something. Yeah, like, they just oh, know that face. Do you know, exactly. And it, because of that, I literally had a queue. People coming up to me going, 
Mark said that I need to come up here and do a bit to camera and just give him a quick brief. That's and it was it. literally just like there was maybe two at a time yeah. waiting. And it was just like this conveyor belt. Sounds like the uh, dream. It it was. And I hope all the uh, future events I do uh, but, to that level. But it, it was so good because there was that pre-production in it. There was the thought of, right, then where are we going to do it? We're going to make sure we've got a dedicated place. Mm -hmm. For instance, that then meant that the person you asked to help them knew exactly where we were. Yeah. Right, then go up to the entrance on that top go up those stairs. Area. You'll, you see, them see, in, you'll see, see them in the corner. That awesome set up. Just stand there and, you know, and, and, and go from there. And as well as rather than thinking, well, we now, now need to spend time finding the right people. You know, yeah, we, we asked great. if we could have someone that was knew what was going on. And, went and, and because there was so much going on in a day, and as as I said, uh, I was stressed. And I was only stressed because it matters, right? Yeah, yeah. If it was like leveling up, wasn't it? It was that next step. Yeah, it's a, it was a, a, definitely a much larger corporate event than I've ever shot. Uh, and grateful to have you on board with yeah, that, mate. 100%. That, mate. It's, it was, couldn't, you, it's not a one-man job, that. Mm, definitely. But be, my stress only came from caring and that's the only time yeah. i'm ever stressed is yeah. because i i, I want to do a good <laughs> that's job not saying you don't care about everything else it's just this was no. the next day wasn't yeah it? <laughs> yeah that's it if i'm not stressed on your job it doesn't mean i don't care <laughs> just means it's you're just seasoned when that, i'm you? pushed yeah well it was definitely outside the comfort zone because yeah. of the scale and the content we had to cover like you say a longer edit meant we had to capture a lot more stuff yeah and I, I yeah I don't like being stressed, but sometimes I think if I'm stressed on a job, it's because I'm being pushed outside of my own comfort zone. And every time I do that, I grow from it. And yeah. I think going into the next one, hopefully, Mark, you'll have us mm -hmm. by this time. Hopefully, we've already yeah <laughs> <laughs> hopefully already uh, been booked for for more. But you know, I feel like I definitely grow when I'm like that. As much as I don't enjoy it at the time, I always feel like I'm much stronger going into the next one now. I mean, we, we wrote checklists. I was like, mm. this is what I want you to bring. This is what I'm going to bring. We took it <laughs> off. We got there. And we're like, there's still a good 25% of what we brought still in the car. <laughs> yeah, because... yeah. That, that's good. That's preparing because we didn't know. We didn't really know what we were going into, especially as the first one of that type of event we've done together yeah. and at that scale. And, you know, with a new client, it's, it's the first event of that new client for you. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully in the next ones, we've got right and then we know where their events are at. Mm. We know what we can do and what we can't do. And 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 at least time to be fair, next time we'll probably take the same equipment because it's the what if, isn't yeah, it? Do you know what I mean? Like they're different events, uh, different sorry venues. So that one was the first time at Silverstone. We'd them. like left. We'd taken some some lights, hadn't we, to potentially light the stage in case it was because we didn't know what the stage room was no, going to be like, did no. we? Um, and like we, I think it's still best, and I'm sure you agree that we will still take those lights with us mm. because even though it was fine on this event, if it's held at a different location yeah. venue. It might be something where we need to have at really least one just to get some form of ambient light onto the stage. Mm. And it's there's loads of other things we had, didn't Better we? Better to over-prepare, I guess. 100%. 100%. I guess another worry for me with this event was that it was a bloody race circuit. It's like <laughs> Silverstone. Like normally it's like the summer NEC or just a general corporate function room or yeah. just something that would scream corporate events. Yeah. But it was Silverstone and I'm like, I didn't oh even realise they kind of had that. Yeah. Thing. Inevitably, those kind of um, venues or whatever are going to have other purposes. Like, yeah, uh, for when instance, there's not race days on. Yeah, yeah. for instance, like um, football stadiums. I look at them and I'm like, it's a, it's a bloody football stadium. No, they actually have quite a lot of events on there. Yeah, don't they? yeah. And that's when I, when you said silver, so I was like, oh, that'd be good. They have, they have yeah. venues. They have it was literally floor. in the wing, isn't it? Yeah, Where yeah. Uh, is it like the pit lanes? Main, yeah, above the pit lanes. Yeah, it's and above the, the pit lanes. What is well, the, the halls. Yeah. Like big halls, massive. Uh, massive halls above. And the... we were only in a small part of that <laughs> yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess we were like, well, can we use drones near there? Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, because obviously, you know, if you know your drone laws, you can't fly over race tracks, but it wasn't a race day. So yeah. were there any flight restrictions in mm -hmm. that? And we discovered there were only restrictions yeah. on actual race days. Yeah. But also we made sure that we flew, I think it was almost like a forest area, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, we but went away, away from... from the actual track mm. and using a 249 gram drone, which yeah. is, you know, category A. So, yeah. you know, you, there's a lot more leniences. Is yeah, that the right word I think to that's that? good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So managed to, well, you you were out flying the drone yeah, to do that and it sexy, looked it? great. Yeah, Just it so good. Biggest learnings from that, um, not to worry, because at the end of the day, when you've got a great team. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. It's like you say to me for the weddings, uh, and I think it's still true for anything else. If you can get... 
And I always carry this with me, Mitch, oh, by the way. for me? Yeah. Oh. If you, if I can, you said, if I can get 80% of everything I think I need, I'll still mm. be able to do a good wedding video. Yeah. And I think it's the same for corporate. Like, yeah. There was a, a couple of bits we missed audio-wise. No, one bit we missed audio-wise that was quite important. Uh, but we managed to save that later by getting yes. that specifically. Yes, yes, And that's fine. Like, nothing will go to plan. Uh, not, sorry. <laughs> nothing will go to plan. <laughs> nothing sorry, not will Sorry, not everything to... will go to plan. Yeah. Because that's just the nature of the beast, right? Exactly. You, you won't. Exactly. But like you say, if you can get 8% of everything you want, you'll still be able to make a good video. I sent the teaser yesterday. Mark loved it. Got the the other two to do which will be even better because there's a bit more breathing room mm -hmm. for them to be, be be creative and not have that next day delivery but yeah just to not not stress it but like yeah. i said stress is only coming from caring so you yeah know, yeah i think I'm just you know I'm just glad it's done and yeah. learn feel far more relaxed going into the next just a little bit of thought before the shoot about what you would need, like mm. what to look for, mm. be prepared and that side of things. Don't go wrong, you don't have to get everything or nail everything, but just to have that little initial uh, yeah, thought, get the ball in. rolling in your head, a bit of a plan, right then, let's think we probably could do with that, so let's make sure it's there because God forbid you think, oh God, I wish I'd have done that, I wish I'd thought about that. It doesn't mm. have to be to the point, but just something in, so it's there for you and you're ready to go. So that brings me confidence and that's where yeah. I felt that you had done and us having those kind of conversations about where we're going to go with that event and yeah. what we're going to need. Yeah. Settled anything for me. Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just, Glad, glad we got to point. Oh, my feet are still hurting from that. Gift from that, yeah. I'm just about. I don't know how many steps I did because I didn't have my phone in my pocket. But one thousand. Yes, that's one, not a lot. one thousand. <laughs> that's Do not that. A lot. And go to the toilet over a day. I've been my old man bladder though. <laughs> Twenty trips to the toilet. Yeah. But anyway, I guess that kind of wraps it up. Uh, just a little bit of a different one, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Just talking about our experience on shoots and probably we'll do that in future episodes. You know, if you found that useful, drop a comment below. And any questions, you know, whether it's just like this episode or any others or something you want us to talk about and touch on in future episodes, please let us know and we'll see you next week. Yeah.